Hey YouTube, TechFag9 here again, and today I'm going to show you a very simple and basic thing today, and today it's going to be actually how to use Darkside Super Wipe. I know a lot of you are thinking like, what's wrong with this guy? This is so easy, no one needs a video on this. Well, a couple of years ago when I was starting out, um, I tried to search how to use Darkside Super Wipe because I was a beginner. And I searched for a couple hours and I still couldn't find anything, so um, I finally decided to just do it myself. And um, now I recently just searched again, and there still isn't a lot of links that show you how to directly to do it. So I'm going to show all the new beginners, just like me when I had a hard time, so I'm going to make it easy on the, all the new beginners on how to do this. A lot of things like, oh, it's a waste of time, but yeah, I think it's important. Like, it made my life a lot easier after I learned how to do it, so I want to make all the new beginner people on Android a lot easier on how to, use, how to do this. So the very first step, SD card and your Samsung Galaxy S2 phone. It might work on other phones, I'm not positive, but this is a T-Mobile, it will work on any Galaxy S2 brand. So let's just pop in the SD card. You can leave the back cover on, whatever. I'm just gonna put it on. It's just my thing. Alright. It is on, it's my custom RAM. Alright. First thing, plug it in. We go detect it. Oh. All right, just swipe down, tap on USB connector, and you want to turn on USB storage. Wait till it turns orange. All right, now you can set it aside for now. All right, these two popped up. Uh, I just closed both of them. It's just me, but if you know which one's your SD card, uh, just go right ahead. But I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Alright. Alright, by this you can see one is 11.2 and the other one is 7.38. 11.2 is the f uh, the normal one that's your internal storage memory. I would not put this in there. You can if you want. You can put them in both of them. It doesn't really matter. It won't mess up your phone or anything. But um, this is my SD card because it's not 11.2. So you can see that we have dark side super wipe. But if you don't know how to use it... Mine is right. Sorry. Mine is right here. You can see it's right there. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it in there. Let me just delete that one. I'm just gonna drag and drop it into there. Hold on. Put the wrong one. Just put it in there. All right, it's in there. You can see. All right, just close everything out this, you can just turn it on, you can turn off USB storage, and then just unplug it. Okay. After that, you want to go, this is, the next step is going to be, um, you're going to enter into Clockwork Mod Recovery, alright? Um, if you don't know how to get into there, or, this will only work if you watch my other video, uh, using Odin, so if you have not used Odin, you don't know what that is, um, just search up my other videos, and I can show you how to install Clockwork Mod and to root your phone too. So the first step, is to hold down the two power buttons or the two volume buttons, I'm sorry, two volume buttons and the power button all together, alright? All the buttons, all three. And when you feel a vibration, take off take your finger off the power button, but leave your fingers on the volume button. I just feel the vibration, just take it off. Just keep holding on to the volume buttons. Let's give it a few seconds. There you go, you enter. This is what's called Clockwork Mod Recovery. Alright, so you can actually see that. Alright, so the first thing is um, since you put in your SD card, you want to do install from SD card. Just press the pop button to select it. You want to do choose from SD card. And now here, you want to do dark side super wipe. Now, before I do this, I highly recommend that you back it up. If you don't know how to back it up, go back. I'll just show it to you. You want to do go back. And go do go back and you want to see how it says backup and restore. Just go onto there and you can do backup. I highly recommend that before you do any of this type of stuff cuz it could mess up your phone and um it's always highly recommend that you have a backup just in case just to be safe. You never know. All right, so let's go back to install zip from SD card. You want to choose zip from SD card. And after that, you want to do Dark Side Super Wipe. And I want to tell you what Dark Side Super Wipe does. Alright? So Dark Side Super Wipe is basically a thing that repartitions your partition, your um, memory in your 
your internal memory it will clear all your history your memory your cache every single thing so when you try to install a new custom ram it will install it without a lot of errors this every time i install a new custom ram i use this every single time so i highly recommend that using this instead just trying to install a custom ram without doing this because you'll probably get errors you'll be wasting your time googling all this and all that so i highly recommend that you do this so let's just do it and it's very easy, very simple process, called it down to yes. It only takes about two minutes too, so it'll save you a lot of time in the end. So I'll be back in about two minutes, and um, we'll go on from there. Alright guys, it just finished, so it should say dark side. Um, congratulations that you just um, used dark side. It's very simple, and um, it makes it very easy for the uh, new beginners and moderate people to clear the, all their um, internal memory works really well and um you're wondering like what's this for right like why would you want to clear it anyway so um to do this I'm gonna show you um you want to go um like I would do this if you want if I want to install a new custom RAM like um let's see um this one is SGH i2 i7 27 port to SGH T989 and that is a ported custom ROM for ice cream sandwich to my T-Mobile Galaxy S2 phone and if you're interested in that like if you if you have a T-Mobile phone and you want to and you want to get ice cream sandwich on there because they haven't officially released it yet um I I have a video that you can see that so it's this this is the basically used to install custom ROMs and all that so if you have any more questions just comment subscribe anything all right so yeah so could you please like comment or subscribe i really appreciate that you guys have been watching this taking time to watch this um thank you very much guys and hope this video helped thank you oh and one more thing i just forgot um i will have the dark side super wipe direct download link in the description just to let you know and um i also want to let you know that um watch out because i am doing giveaways and i currently do have a giveaway um, about of an FM transmitter. So if you're interested in looking at that, it's a free giveaway, free shipping, and everything. I will have that uh, link to the video in the description too. 